Welcome everyone. Sorry for the big pause. I forgot that I was already going live. <laughs> anyway, this is U Boat once again. We've returned. Actually, this is um, a continuation of my previous patrol for, for those of you who are joining me in the replay, who are not watching me live. Feel free to take about a two or three minute jump forward. Um, I'm going to wait for some people to file in and we'll be getting all the patrol stuff ready. So as I said, we'll probably be uh, it'll probably be slow going for the first two minutes here, and you may want to choose to fast forward the video a little bit. At least I wouldn't blame you if you did. For those of you who are sticking around, brave soldiers, <laughs> I think we are gonna have some people file in them pretty quickly. Oh my goodness, finish Jaeger! Don't even give me that. Decision is obvious. Both. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to attempt in this mission the unthinkable. <laughs> we're going to do redo what we didn't do right the first time. I've been looking forward to this opportunity to kill my entire crew for a long time. And we're going to have an opportunity because we have another chance to destroy everything in Gibraltar. All right, well, uh, if anybody at chat is able to, or anybody on the stream is able to chat and relay to me that everything looks good, We'll get we'll get moving with the we'll get moving with the stream. I guess I can start doing some of the oh there it is I knew it I knew Finish Eager was here. We can start doing some of the minor things like um, this is actually from the last patrol. I had this mission to drop off a spy at the Cardiff docks or just next to it, and this is actually a continuation of that mission. So we are in I I ended up finishing that one offline and what is this sonar decoy <gasps> oh my gosh I did not know that we had these things I have never used one at least but now it makes sense <laughs> so uh, finish eager says how do you return to port once you want the patrol to end you actually just navigate right back to the same dock that you launched from uh, I didn't find any tricks to it besides the actual trying to arrive <laughs> safely at the dock, which is not not a trivial matter. Um, we have a lot of budget available now that we've done well. You can see that, so this espionage card of docks plus 25,000, we had this, um, the only one that you guys missed was this espionage card of docks plus 3,000, which is I had to go in and just look at the port. It was pretty boring, and I mean, it wasn't, it was still good gameplay, I would say. It was entertaining, but um, we had to just spot different AA guns on the dock. And for those of you who are interested in doing that kind of mission, uh, yeah, so Finish says, I did that and nothing happened. You have to get within like five meters of the dock. I mean, you have to put yourself, you basically have to crash into the dock and, you know, right next to it. The first time I tried to do it to get, when I didn't really have a feel for the turning and all that, Took me quite a while to get it, but yeah, basically you have to put yourself right next to the dock, and if that didn't work, then your game was bugged. But finish here said, "Oh, I see," and I'm sensing maybe that that means he uh, didn't exactly do that. So, anyways, let's replenish our fuel supply. This is not a big cost to us. We are going to be making the perilous journey through the Straits of Gibraltar. This is Das Boot, the reenactment. Hopefully, not the full reenactment. Boy, I forgot that I had launched all my torpedoes. <laughs> and we are actually quite low on... Yeah, I want to save a Type 2 for the rear. Two Type 1s, I guess. Um, we want multiple of those, and there's only basically that many available. Let's get six of these, I think. We'll transfer four first, and then we'll get another two. And... I don't really know what we want to do with this extra spot. I have three breathing apparatus, which are going to be important if we end up dying in the 
Spaceman has joined. Welcome, Spaceman. Um, I don't know what... Required to dive to a wreck. I wonder if you can dive to the wrecks that we sink merchants with. I think you can. Which is kind of a funny little thing. Very ahistorical, but nonetheless interesting that it's possible. I think you can, basically. Um, I have this extra spot. I probably need to fill this out with replacement parts. I don't know. Or it could be food, actually. It might be food. We can just take a look and see what our submarine currently has. In fact, what I want to do is upgrade my ship. Yes, indeed. So does this listening room have an option? Radio room. We have tier one. Detect radar waves and play loud warning on ship speakers. We haven't unlocked that research yet. Apparently the light, the listening room is not... Wait, I'm pretty sure that I had done something, though. What have we done as far as headquarters goes what have we what have we already done doesn't really show us anything okay fine wait can we interact with the current mission maybe we want to change things up no i don't think you can do anything okay fine uh, maybe we can use the favor points that we have. Uh, I think we have gotten... We can at least include another officer on our U-boat, which might be useful. Wait, we didn't get any favor? Did it reset when we docked? I think it may have reset, because I had more than one favor. Did we? Did we? Am I crazy? No, we didn't. I was thinking about a different patrol. Well, that's fine. I sold my diving helmet, says Finish Eager. Yeah. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. All right, so the upgrades, I don't remember what upgrades we already have, um, as in have researched. I suppose nothing, huh? So alt, that's the pill launcher. Okay, oh, can we upgrade this? No. No, I would like a snorkel pipe system that may be set above the sea surface to ventilate the ship with fresh air and keep using diesel engines while remaining underwater. Works only at periscope depth. Well, the fact that it can work at periscope depth certainly is enough. Would make a lot of noise, of course, but um, we have these, which I don't know why. My listening room might be bugged. I can't use it. I wouldn't mind using the or using. I wouldn't mind using the improved toilets. I wouldn't mind getting the improved toilets. Seems like one of the best ones you can get. Crew, um, they've patched this. It's constantly in the state of development, as you guess. Um, and one of the things they've done is make crews easier to break. <laughs> essentially they've made it so i haven't had any problems with the crew breaking i've been able to actually oh good evening rusty i've been able to keep my crews from breaking so far no longer we're gonna have some issues with that i think so let's get this guy and let's get any uh they even have the same name oh no it's hans and horst wait what's this german and austrian nah we want the brawlers cleans his shoes every day sounds like a good man We'll take them. Brawlers, and we want the... The mechanics as well. Those are the two I... Don't know why I feel like they're the best. These are probably officers. Maybe these actually... Maybe these actually represent different officers they can be promoted to. I've never considered that, but... This guy would be like a radio man. Uh, like an XO. Um, for family, hate service, maybe this is like an engine, an engineer. And the uh, pharmacist's sons, maybe radio men as well? I don't know. Finish, I just subbed to you, said Spaceman. Very interesting. <laughs> Finish, are you doing videos now? It'd be wonderful if you were. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and accept our mission now, which is the big, big hubbub. We're going to go through the Straits of Gibraltar. I forgot to announce my stream anywhere. Hmm. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> uh, man, this uh, Lieutenant Rainbow Slash, he seems to spam his uh, content in every channel, every day. <laughs> uh I just went to several other Discord servers to see if I should put my stuff there, and there it was. Alright. 
So, we, I could always be persuaded to do something else. I suspect chat will be all in favor of joining La Spezia Flor Totil. But I'll give the chat a moment to decide um, what, or at least to encourage me in one direction or another. We have a patrol from Sector CE, a patrol, this is North Atlantic. We'll check this out in a moment. A patrol in AL, which is further north. And we have a patrol, well, not really a patrol, just make it somehow through the Straits of Gibraltar. So CE and AL. Let's take a look at what both of those would entail. CE is... Wow, oh, it's further than I thought. Actually, it's... I don't think this map is exactly accurate. It's the Azores, I guess. We'd be patrolling around the Azores Islands. This does not feel realistic. I think the Azores is not so far west into the Atlantic. Maybe they don't really model... Uh, I can't really tell. Maybe this is okay. Anyways, this is our patrol zone, CE, uh, versus AL would be here. Not really a great one. You get a lot of... I, at least I... I have gotten a lot of aircraft patrolling AL. And then the last option is our good old friend, Gibraltar. And making it through to La Spezia. Finnish asks, can you realistically make this straight? And Rusty says, may as well try to run the straight again. I'm pretty confident that if I dive the boat and I stay at periscope depth, which unfortunately in the latest patch just updated today or yesterday is actually a little bit more challenging. Your crew will basically break. But I think we were just detected on the surface. And I think that going underwater, well, at least this is what will happen. We'll find out if it was a mine or not. So I don't think that there are mines down here, but because we were hit again and again after we were stopped. I mean, not again and again, we were hit a second time, but we were at all stop. And despite the fact that there's somewhere a remark on the game saying, make sure to use your aft, I mean, make sure to use reverse motors to slow yourself down, that the friction of the water is not that great. I find that you actually stop almost instantly as soon as you go to stop, so. Finishes go deep and slow down the middle. I don't even think slow is necessary. I would probably go all ahead half, which is normal, or two thirds in the, you know, the different various navies have their different vernacular terms for what the different speeds mean. But we'll choose the middle one, forward three, I imagine, because we do want to make it through the, the straight. So, yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and take this one. And it's possible we'll die, but with any amount of luck. I, I kind of want to try it out. Normally I'm like, oh, I don't choose hard ones, guys. You're just going to kill me. But I'm a little bit interested in trying to do this one again. Okay, so we have our orders. Let's go back and see what we need. Well, before I do this, let me go to the galley. And who be you. Let's open this. And let's move all the food we can over there. Let's... Yes, do that, and then not only that, when you're done, no, wait, okay, not only that, but once you're done with that, I want you to move all the other food back here, then move, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but there's a method to my madness. Oh, he's gotta finish this first, I guess. What are you doing? Do this thing. Uh, no. There, uh, let me just take control of him. Position. You don't need to load torpedoes. We'll get. I mean, you do actually. Wait, that's true. You do need to load torpedoes. Go load torpedoes to start us off. Because we're in port, we can kind of like do a bunch of these things in port if we want. Yep, go do it. So we'll get uh, Mr. Radio Operator up. He's going to have uh, some radio traffic that we'll want to pay attention to anyway. But for now, let's just go do this manually. Tortuga, are you American? It's a good question. Am I American? Am I American enough? So I want to put that there, and I probably want to put 10 of this here, and then we'll just use the rest of... So you can go ahead and go to the radio station, sure. I don't need anybody to have personnel attached to them quite yet. 
So that's fine the way it is, just so we keep morale up. Now let's go back to the warehouse and buy some more food. Randy says, hey Tortuga, and on hello to you, Randy. Okay. Yeah, I would actually love, um, Finish had said this, but I would actually love to get to the Mediterranean. Okay, good, we got 40 food there. Didn't cost us that much, I mean, 6,000 is a ton, but only if you're a little bit short on funds, and we're absolutely not. So let's get five more replacement parts. We had to pick something, right? It was either med kits or replacement parts. I'm just assuming that the ratio three to two is better spent in favor of replacement parts than it is in uh, in favor of med kits. I'm assuming you don't use as many med kits as, as you might use uh, replacement parts. Ideally, at least, that's the case. You don't want people injured. And that means that it's time for us to get a move on. So let's go ahead and... We don't need to go that quickly at first. There we go. Move. And just really as soon as we're beyond the docks. Good. So let's start our movement. Okay, something like that. I don't really need this guy on watch, so I'm gonna just send him back to bed. I'm surprised we didn't get a radio message. So, mission two. Flotilla station at La Spezia Sport. Need La Spezia Port needs more U-boats under its command to achieve the current goals. Your order is to travel to the target port and report to the new leading officer. Now, the interesting thing about this traversing the Gibraltar Strait is they don't have current modeled. Hello, Lost Holes. So basically, in real life, there's a, at least on the bottom, I think, there's a um, tide or a water movement, flux, whatever, that moves into the Mediterranean from the ocean. So that helps you if you're moving into the Mediterranean as a submarine. You can kind of drift. But I don't think that they have that modeled. I, I suspect they don't. I highly suspect they don't. <laughs> Okay, we can probably go to forward two. We're not gonna worry too much about fuel. This guy's already, this guy's already burned out, just using the radio for a small amount of time. So they didn't send us another uh, message saying, you know, good luck or anything, which is uh, unfortunate. Oh man, did we hit the top shore or the bottom shore? Oh, we hit the top. And you really gotta squeeze this in. It looks like that you gotta aim for the crosshairs there. Maybe a little bit above the crosshairs, but not too much. I went too far, I guess. So we should get really far. Really, I mean, very quickly should be back. Yep, in the open sea. Uh, Rusty says, good call on the current. I hadn't even thought of that impact benefit. Yeah, but unfortunately, I don't think it's modeled, as I said. So not really, not, not a big deal for us because it won't be relevant. And I believe, I don't know, but I believe that they mention that specifically in Das Boot, don't they? Where did I get this information from, anyway? <laughs> Why do I have this information in my brain? Um, are you really done, or are there any torpedoes you could be loading? I don't know. We'll just let him do his thing. I don't really need to have anybody on watch for a little while. We're just going to try to keep crew morale as high as possible. And officer, I got it from real life, says Finnish. Wow. Um, Spacefin, Tortuga is much more active than other streamers with the audience, that's why I subbed to him. Ah, interesting. Well, it will be, it comes along with the, comes along with the territory here that I have a, a youngin who does interrupt my streams from time to time. You may or may not hear the little Tortuga <laughs> in the background. Randy says, I was playing Victory at Sea Pacific, then all the aircraft bugged out. I'd rather watch Tortuga be Tortuga. Oh, yeah, well, the aircraft bugging out in Victory at Sea Pacific, that sounds like par for the course. Happens almost every episode. I've actually given up on the tactical screen in Victory at Sea Pacific, which you can't do if the battles, if the war, I mean, is still um, not, if it's still in doubt, if it's still not necessarily one for one side or the other, then you, you know, 
well, I, I guess if it's one for the other side, you wouldn't be playing anymore. But what I mean is, <laughs> if, uh, yeah, if you're still fighting the fight and it's not completely over for you yet, what are you doing? Let's get this guy to do watch officer. And we'll take one and, you know what, one of these guys, jump out, do your thing. Actually, I might switch. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. So right now we have uh, varied dishes, which no longer help while you're under alarm. In fact, a lot of things don't help when you're under alarm. The only problem I have right now is that you yourself cannot set the alarm. So I think that you should be able to set the alarm, and there should just be, like, major, major penalties to... Maybe you shouldn't be allowed to use too many crew unless you set the alarm or something. There's a little bit of balancing that needs to happen. That's all I can say. So right now it's like the alarm. Um, I, I, okay, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay, the current system. I don't know. I, I'm not sure, though. And we'll conserve some fuel. We only used, we've used 10% so far. Actually, that's a fair amount. I wonder if I can get this guy to go to the navigation table. Just for now. And, uh, I don't know. I think my listening station room is, like, completely bugged out. The guy doesn't go there very, very often. Let's see if there's any, uh, radio stuff for me. Radio traffic. So the 20 is really helping. <laughs> so you can basically have everyone fully crewed until you get into trouble. And as soon as the alarm goes, then, yeah, you're in trouble. I was hoping to get a little report... I mean, this will be a very quick mission, essentially. It looks like we're just going right for the for, for the port. And this time I am going to try to approach a little bit closer to dusk, not so late into the evening. Listening room's hydrophones has finished. Yeah, I know, but the problem is my guy doesn't operate the hydrophones, even when I'm on periscope depth. I've been a little bit confused by this, at least. Maybe I'm... Well, we'll see it. I mean, forget it. Just... Well, you can just watch... <laughs> stream and you know if I have the same problem I'll just point out and see if anybody has advice on how to fix it let's swap over um, I'm just gonna get this guy to be a chief engineer as well no actually I do want you to what are you doing put me on your station let's have this guy rest we might need him in a pinch and right now he's not helping in any way just and you go rest, you back up top. Very good. So, this is it. This is the big one. The big one we're trying again. Are T2 torpedoes more powerful than T1s? It's just a difference between steam and electric. I don't know, actually, I think t uh, steam torpedoes have a longer range. Ooh. You just went to bed, huh? Why did you do that? Very strange. I don't know why he did that. We're lost. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Let's get this guy onto the nav station. We'll finish it eventually. So I want to turn. Ah, visual contact spotted. What? What's going on here? Oh, we detect another type. Okay, well that's fine. I would like to radio this in. So let's get you to radio it. Um, uh, we're... No, 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 no. Navigation. Yeah, do that. I don't understand why this guy's going to bed. Chief Engineer, Chief Engineer. So he should just be working on the diesel engines. You don't need to sleep, you're like 90% full. Okay, let's send our visual contact. Let's increase our speed. Although, what I wanted to do, now that I remember... This is, is this our report saying go this way? I'm pretty sure it is, so let's make a 60 degree turn to port. And yes, T1s have longer range, says finish. They are the same warhead, just different propulsion. Yeah, I, I thought that they were the same warhead. But I have somebody here who can uh, provide that information for us, even better. Let me sneeze. Okay, so apparently plus and minus on the numpad, which happens to be attached to my hotkeys for the microphone muting, happens to also do speed, which is good to know. I mean, this is actually great. 
What does the numpad do? Let's look. 7, 9, 8, 7, 9, 9. Doesn't do anything. Just plus and minus. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, you can go back to sleep. We have no need for you yet. We can rotate these guys in and out. A little bit choppy there. I wonder if there was a ship or something coming up. Uh, let's give this guy some rest. Visual contact. If we have a visual contact with the Type 7C, there's two things that could be the situation here. Where is this thing, by the way? Because... Okay, good. It does give us... Oh, do we know where we are again? I guess we do. So let's get this guy sleep, this guy to the navigator position, and speed on ahead. So this looks pretty good to me. I think we're setting up well for a run into the evening. Might have to kick up the speed a little bit, but I won't risk it this time. And what I mean by that is, if we get close and it's a little bit too late, I'll just pull back. I think we're going to be okay on time. We might even be a little bit early. But I'd rather slow down later than slow down early. Task completed. What the heck is this? First of all... Okay, well, whoops. I dumb, dumb messed this up. Control one. What message? It's I, I don't like this. Can I get rid of this notification? There's zero new messages. Why are you telling me that there are zero new messages? Doesn't really seem like the most important thing for me to know. It's kind of like saying, you know, yeah, you're a person or something. Okay, there's nothing new about that. Swap these guys out as well. How we doing? We're in good shape. It's rested. Doing good. Okay. I think everything's fine. 1250. Yeah, actually I do want to stay up because I'm I am a little bit worried about the timing. I think we're gonna be at up oh, oh, well we passed that one. One chimney smoke, we'll just let that go. Especially because I didn't react time. <laughs> actually we need a radio operator to report this though. Let's get him on. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Okay, very good. Not that we really need the budget, but it seems prudent to use that when you can. Northfield has joined. Welcome, Northfield. Still trying to get to La Spezia? By the way, TP, you're a person. Yeah, exactly. That's what I feel like this. You have zero messages. <laughs> It's like, okay, that's something I... It's not really important information for me. Rusty says, hopefully we don't encounter any Novembers. <laughs> JK, subsidies or two after a bunch of Cold Waters. Yeah, Cold Waters is a blast. Actually, Cold Waters... It's, I, I haven't even thought about this game this way because they're so different, but I wonder... I, I just now I started to do a comparison, like a pretend comparison of Cold Waters and this game in my head. I think Cold Waters might be a little bit better. All right, so it's four. The, basically, it's five o'clock. This is kind of perfect. It's still a little bit bright out, but I'd rather be going in at this time than a little bit later. I mean, uh, too late. I'd rather be going a little too early than a little too late. Is Gibraltar Strait shallow? No, it isn't. Thankfully, it's actually quite deep. Now, Lost Souls, I have to say that that comment reveals the fact that you haven't watched Das Boot is one of the best submarine movies, if not the best submarine movie of all time. Visual contact. Well, let's report it, first and foremost. How's their speed versus ours? Now, somebody um, actually threw quite a fit about my engaging a contact near Gibraltar. Uh, they actually blamed this on, uh, as the, or credited it as the reason why I was sunk in Gibraltar Straits. The last time I tried to go in, I think somewhere over here off the Portugal, or maybe it was further over to the east, but still, you know, maybe 100 miles or plus away from Gibraltar, uh, we sank a merchant ship, or attempted to. We didn't actually end up sinking it, but 
Uh, point is, I don't think that that had any bearing on the coastal gun, which ended up sinking us over here. Don't think so, at least. I could be wrong. Randy, Dieter is making fun of you for no mail. He's hiding your letters. Yeah, what is this? Why aren't we getting any notifications? Where's my phone? So this guy is not moving much faster than us, but fast enough he's probably not a merchant. So we'll let it go. In fact, I kind of like the fact that we know where he is, more or less, because that means that basically, and look at this, 6 o'clock, we're moving in just about perfect, I'd say. Uh, basically, this means that we don't see anybody else, which is the good news. Oh, God. Okay, so we're entering the Gibraltar Strait now. This is where things get fun. I wonder if I can actually detect this contact. Oh, visual contact is a submarine? What? All right, let me verify this. Somewhere over here. It looks like we're not going to be able to see him. Probably 300. No, it's definitely, it's much less than that. Maybe like 30. I definitely don't see him. That's fine. We'll leave it as is. And it's deep water. Plenty of water under the keel. Just got home from watching Endgame and Tortuga is still streaming. Nice. Welcome, Radix. <laughs> Rusty says no spoilers, please. Spaceman asks, does that mean that I should stop watching you and watch Das Boot? Uh, frankly, I would not be opposed to this. If that's what you ended up doing, I would still support it. Might want to come in a little further south and do something like this. I don't know if I want to go exactly that far, but let's see what's happening here. I'll wait for visual contact, or what I could do is probably go Dex to Wash, although that limits my vision as well, because then nobody will be on the bridge. We'll just be very, very prepared to go to Dex to Wash, or, you know, I could always go Hydrophones. I don't know. It's kind of a tough decision here. This smokestack is not... Well, I mean, we had this visual contact, I believe, we thought was a submarine, which, if that's the case... Two submarines moving in at the same time, you would think this is a bad thing, right? This doesn't make sense in a lot of ways, you know? <laughs> in some ways, at least. Oh, okay, okay, wow. We're spotting a lot more now. Let's report this. And I don't know why our vision suddenly got worse. Maybe because it's nighttime? Cloudiness is only minus 3%. Let's report this. And let's swap. Yeah, this visual contact appears to be a submarine, which is good news. Um, I think I want to start prepping torpedoes, so I'm going to swap these guys out. Let me actually just command you directly. No, going the wrong way. Sorry. I don't know where I'm going. No, wait, we were going the right way. Pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Alright, we want to start, wow, we actually lined up a steam one. Yeah, so I want to start doing this. This guy, I'm going to set him to be, I think mechanic is the best one. So hopefully he does that just by himself for a bit. be really interesting to see what happens with this whole situation. We did suspect that these, wow, another one. It is busy. Very, very, very busy. Very, very, very busy. Uh, oh my god. Well, holy crap. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. No, stop. It wouldn't. Middle click wasn't doing anything, so I was a little worried about that. Um, I don't know if I want to trust that there's no coastal guns. Because that's what happened to us last time. So I think we're going to go ahead and risk the our visibility 97 percent it's not great seems a little bit too early for us to go diving i made it all the way here last time until i dove northfield says shouldn't you dive time to dive and run quiet everyone up as busy was yeah apparently everyone has the same idea but i'm hoping that this is all just 
everyone tracking in on my fellow submarine here. What I can do, maybe, is... Wow, a lot of, a lot of contacts, but... What I can do is manual mode this, and we can see if we can find any coastal guns. Okay, let's just scan. Because it, it should identify them. I don't think there are. And if there is no coast guns, then I'm not afraid to just hug. By the way, I don't think that Morocco... Is this Morocco or is this Algiers? This is Algiers, right? I don't think it looks this green. <laughs> so... I think it's a bit sandy and flat. and Maybe it's actually a little bit hilly on the other side of Gibraltar. They probably have done this modeling right. Well, who am I to question them? Just... I remember I visually have seen Gibraltar, although I've never really been to it. Just off in the distance. From the southern part of Spain, so pretty far away. Okay. Looks good. I'm not seeing anything. I don't know if anyone else is. Finish says, backseat captains. That's right. Optimism gas is Northfield. Calm subpack, welcome. Are you always trying to break through Gibraltar when I drop into your stream? Look, it, this is like, a, I have a, a score to settle, as they say. I really think I can make it through the straight, and even though the update has made it maybe slightly more difficult to do this, because the crew will break, likely, I'm still a little confident, in fact, that we can do this. So... So yeah, basically I want to make sure that everyone, all this, all the officers have used up as many of the crewmen as they can. <laughs> it sounds weird, but basically they've done all this stuff that we can do without being in contact. And as soon as the alarm is tossed, in fact, I'm going to, this is weird, but I'm going to actually reduce my sight a little. This is weird. This is a gamey thing, but I don't want my alarm to go off because then I lose the, the very dishes bonus. <laughs> Uh, so to some degree, I probably, if I want to conserve battery but not go to alarm, I probably should go DEXA wash. And this will also reduce my visibility. There's a lot of good reasons. I kind of suspect, though, that this is a, a friendly submarine, a Type 7, engaged. I we'll think we're going to go DEXA wash. Alright, let's rest this guy for a little bit. How many torpedoes do I have with maintenance done on them so far? Oh shoot, I'm... I forgot, you can't really... anyway. Let's look at this. Okay, let me... Um, click this guy. Pause. Huh. Well, I guess I can open up the torpedoes. Can I? I don't know any other way to open up the torpedoes. Pill launcher? Where's the pill launcher? Damn. So what other options do we have for this guy? You can play cards. Oh, wait, I can get there here. Sweet. Wait, is the listening station not the hydrophones? I thought it was, because it doesn't allow me to just to go there directly. Yeah. Which makes sense when you're on the surface, by the way. But Alright, go ahead and just go to sleep. We'll unpause. I think we will take things slow. I'm still debating. <laughs> Finish Jager says Gibraltar 1's U-Boat 0. Northfield says this is a question of honor. Welcome, Papa Tango. Welcome. I don't know. I'm just confident. We're going to stave off the alarm for a little bit here. This is, I mean, I have to say, for 7 o'clock at night, visibility is way too good. Way too good. All right. All right, all right. I think we're going to do it. Okay, so supposedly we are now completely set as far as torpedoes go. This is correct. Can I also confirm, before you go to sleep, that the rear torpedo is set? It is. Wow, this guy has he's worked very well. Okay, you've earned your rest. Go ahead. Because we're practically within visual contact. And I don't even want to go look, because I don't actually want to spot these guys. I don't want to know anything, because I don't want an alarm to sound. 
This is the mentality we're on. We're at right now. That is still a lot of ships. Another one. Okay. Well, let's take off. Let's get this guy to report. We're racking in the budget. That is a just a metric ton of ships. Look, get up. Fine, I'll do it myself. Jeez, man. What's wrong with you? I don't know if they've, uh, I don't know if they've actually helped the whole crew management thing. Crews are actually, seem to be giving me more trouble, not less. Calm sub back says dive. I know, I know, that's the smart thing, but I also want to wait a little bit until basically, okay, now we're in range. Is the alarm off? There's the alarm. Okay, so let's pause. Let's do some uh, efficient management here. We don't need to worry about the engine so much. I'd rather have... In fact, I wouldn't need to worry about the engines at all. Let's, let's go Dex a, a wash. First of all, what is this? It's a freighter. Could try to sink it. Nah, that would not be prudent, per se. Um, let's go Dex a wash. We can still use our diesels. Get this guy to send the report. He's done that. Go back to sleep. Dex Wash is going to help our visibility as well. I don't think we've been detected yet, but we don't want to be, and we don't really care about detecting them as much. We kind of know where they are. Okay, there we go. We don't know anything yet. What the heck? Yeah, he's moving there. Good. And this is the only one I will say is important, getting at least one person to help with the observation scope. I can probably rotate this guy out just to be very ultra efficient. I can be rotating these guys out. So he's full on sleep, so we're just... If you think about both of their uh, fatigue as a lumped quantity, a sum, I can get less total fatigue by letting him sleep and then this guy go up. Otherwise, this guy will just get fatigued and this guy doesn't gain any. I mean, this guy will get fatigued and this guy will... Whoa! Uh, it doesn't like need any more sleep, so it's a waste. I think that makes sense. Literally tons of ships, yeah. Well, tons of weight in the ships. Finish Jaeger says, I wonder if Freighter will be attacked by their U-boat. I don't know how the AI subs work. Yes, I've seen it before. They definitely attack each other. And Dex Wash is going to help us in terms of preventing uh, us from being spotted. Why is our ship's buoyancy so bad? Should be much less visible. And we absolutely are. That's very helpful. And we're still using the electrics. I think I'll rotate this guy back to Chief Engineer. And give this guy a rest for the same reasons I was talking about with these two. Just keeping them both very, very fresh. Luckily for us... Oh, the alarm is still going, huh? Why is oxygen down? We should get oxygen still. Dex of wash. Maybe we have to be below or above a certain depth. I think that we all we need to do is basically open the hatch momentarily and get tons of fresh air. That's the way I understand it, at least. Boy, oh boy, that's a lot of. Wait, why is this guy? I don't understand Leo Loris. No, I don't. I don't really care about promoting you or whatever. Just yeah, there, go, go do your job. I don't think we need two. We'll just take one with him. Okay, that's better. Everything's better. Can we play music now? No, I don't think so. Not when the alarm goes off. So this is the new like mechanic they're really trying to push for is making discipline a lot more of a having a lot more of an impact. So I think with this it being eight o'clock, visibility is pretty low. Our radar signature is low because we're lower in the water. Sonar detectability is pretty good. <laughs> but let's go ahead and go forward four anyway. I want to make this run before the uh, before the day passes us by. Literally before daybreak. Before morning. This is still a lot of things we're going to have to contend with. I'm going to give the radio operator a break. We might need him on hydrophones later. So... What else? Just one at a time. I think we're actually completely fine. So let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. So I unassigned sailors when officers go to sleep. Not sure if it does anything with too much work from officers. Yeah, I've checked that before and I don't think it does. Basically, I think that the only... Let's try to avoid this guy. I think the only effect that uh, the sailors have is when they're actually working on station. We 
we're doing okay right now. I wonder why bounty hunt plus two. Why? When, when does that happen? By the way, look at this visual contact basically on top. Is the visual contact moving towards me, or is it? Yeah, it's going crazy. I really hope that it's attracting the attention of all the others. If it is, in fact, submarine as I suspect it is. Shoot Leo, he's a Tommy spy. No joke, man. This Leo guy. I, I'm not sure about you, Loris. Not so sure. I think we're going to avoid that chimney smoke now. We have 80% fuel and we're in Gibraltar, so I'm not going to worry too much about fuel. It doesn't cost too much. Uh, again, let's slow down and relieve the captain and give our other individual a chance to view what's on the scope. And I'm assuming that our visibility can't be much worse than... I mean, can't be much better than theirs. Can't be much worse than theirs. Yeah, as in, we should be able to spot them before they spot us still. Visibility, 66. Oxygen is not an issue. Fresh air is coming in. So I don't know what happened to that contact. Maybe that submarine just went down. We don't see him anymore. <laughs> when are you going to up upload another Rule of Vase video? Very good question. Hopefully I'll be able to get to it tonight. I'm also trying to do a... Oh, okay, I don't don't like this. We're going to dodge south of these guys, if, if at all possible. Um, oh, we also need to rotate these two in and out. Let's get this guy to walk over here. And you can go to sleep. No, no, no. You go to sleep. You go to sleep. This guy. Yeah, there we go. I don't understand. There, go to sleep. Uh, you are completely full, so we'll swap these guys back again. Just keep rotating them. We don't know when the moment's gonna happen when we are when we desperately need you know people at full energy, and we do have some coffee. Worst case scenario as well. Let's set this guy back to mechanic. Oh well, I don't really want him to warm up the torpedoes, but it's a one possibility, right? We might need to. Yeah, two nautical miles seems like just a floating superstructure at night won't be too visible. We do need to get a move on, though. Let me move back up to forward four. We just lost all of our contacts. <laughs> That's a little troublesome. Maybe they just all go to sleep at nine o'clock. Colin Hoffman asks, does the crew management get a bit tedious? It seems like you need to make a lot of adjustments unless you are trying to maximize efficiency and it isn't required per se. I am trying to maximize efficiency. This, A lot of these things I'm doing are not strictly necessary. So, to be fair to the game. Um, that said, I don't know. If you like a crew management type game, then supposedly you enjoy doing all these little crew swaps and all that and enjoy the efficiency of it. You might not even be interested in playing if you're not into those kind of things, frankly. I think we will go up to two, since apparently the very dishes is kicked in again. Fantastic. Visibility is very bad, which is wonderful to hear. Sun's position, minus 50%. Yeah, we're in good shape. Let's, let's go quickly. Must go quickly. And around this area, I'm going to go a little bit further north than I had before to avoid potential mines. Ozone Griff says, hi, hi, I'm a bit disappointed at U-Boat. I expect the game as, realist, as, as realistic, I think, as Dangerous Waters. Dangerous Waters, wow, that is the most realistic <laughs> game I've ever played. <laughs> and I've only played it for a very little amount of time. It's extremely, extremely realistic. So I'm not sure whether we should go to Periscope Depth. That's what I kept telling myself I would do. It's not quite 10. We're definitely going to make it through the straight, no problem. Batteries shouldn't be an issue. So in a lot of ways, I feel like we're... What the hell? I did not do that. That just jumped, and I did not do that. <laughs> My hydrophone operator went to sleep. Yeah, but he's not working right now. Finish says, I like crew management, and I think things are a bit too tedious. Okay, yeah, so that's a fair point. Look, if you're not doing anything... Actually, if you're not doing anything... 
why don't you take over for this guy and you just go to sleep. Get this guy back on station for a little bit. But I think that this Dex Awash is like a really good idea. Our visibility is very low, 38%. Um, yeah, I really feel like we're doing all right right now. And I was on the surface last time, so maybe that was why we were detected. I'm trying to make sure we avoid mines by going far enough north. So this is my projected path. Oh my god! Oh boy. What do we got here? Destroyer and Corvette. Well, no bueno. That's fine. I think we're still going to be okay. Let's just go ahead and get this report. We're going to go down to periscope depth. Let's not panic here. Nothing to panic about quite yet. And we're going to slow down a bit. Sonar detectability is way too high. What the heck? Sonar detectability. Going slow? Alright. Why are we so noisy? Let's turn off the gyro compass. I don't understand steering engines, but gyro compass will turn that off first and foremost. Actually, I might want to control this guy directly. He's turning it off. Okay, good. All right, how about are we now? Down to still 90. My god. Absurd it is, says hey at Tortuga in chat. Finish says run silent, run deep. That's good. Probably actually what I want to do. So we are on the brink of being detected, and I think kind of in a weird way, we might actually be have a better time. <laughs> this is so weird. We might even have a better time on the surface. <laughs> like this detection meter really started to go up only once we uh, really um, dove. We were not detectable before that. What other stuff can we stop? Like, let me try to think what else we can do. Like, what else is making noise? I don't understand, for example, what it means. Steering engines. Like, rudder does not cause your... Rudder does not cause your... Uh, submarine to make noise. Unless this is just some, you know... Game mechanic they've added. We've been detected, are you kidding me? Wow. Well, F this game. Wait, what? Why are they firing at us? Things are not going well. <laughs> Hydraulics, maybe. So I'm just not exactly sure what that means. Like, what, what the... F the hell are they firing at? I'm under the water. There's. I'm sorry. Look. Okay. Let me just say something. There's no way that they can detect my. I can barely detect their ships. And they're. Are they firing at my periscope? Right. You would say that that's impossible, right? It's impossible that they could be firing at that. There's a lot of warships though. Yeah. We're turning south. This is all good. I think this is all fine. <laughs> and Randy says Leo, the British spy, is tapping on the hole with his teaspoon. <laughs> so definitely this is going to be a challenge, obviously, at this point. We're going to have some real issues. So it looks like this... It's funny, like some of them have detected me, but some of them haven't. The third one is who I need to start ranging. Let's get this guy. Yeah, you... You. Okay. Calculate that torpedo course. 
We have propeller noise. What does that mean? All right, so right now it still says my steering engines. Like, look it, I'm going all ahead slow. This is not a very audible speed. I would suggest that this is a little bit absurd. Now, Gibraltar should be a tough thing, right? Maybe it's because the difficulty is hard. Nonetheless, I think we're going to have to just line up a torpedo shot here. That's what I plan to do, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're just going to get a free pass here. I will try to move down to the... We only have one rear torpedo. This is going to be tough. Shoot him now, says Randy Collins. Yeah, we're just waiting for a little bit more... Oh god. Okay, very quickly here. In fact, so quickly that I'm just gonna be you. Go so quickly. Pinged on sonar. There's only one of those guys I think that has sonar. It's the F class. Okay. Probably gonna die here. Just highly suspicious that we will not make it. Like they're still shooting what? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> the AI might keyword be a bit too smart, and by smart I mean a bit cheaty. I don't know. I'm like just would prefer not to think of it that way. Just not exactly sure what they're shooting at. They they obviously don't know exactly. I mean, they can't know exactly where I am. But they're still shooting machine guns at me, which is bizarre. Very bizarre, in my opinion. So we have a almost perfect shot on this thing. As soon as it's heated up, we'll launch. Yeah, just make your way all the way in. Change course later. So I think that the, we actually need to hit the destroyer because the destroyer is the one with the sonar. So I'm going to change my mind again and get everyone to target the destroyer. The flower class has hydrophones. Actually, I think the flower class might have... Um, may It may have sonar as well. Okay, so we have our torpedo. We're all ready to go. Let's get this guy to not just... Okay, so let's actually have him swap to the electrics. Because he is my electric dude. We'll get the other guy to just move forward so that he does it manually. I don't want to miss any opportunities here, though. 19%. Ah, look at that. We actually are not detectable suddenly. Okay. Do this. Do that. Do that. Perfect. Good. So... Now that that's done, detection. So actually, we're doing okay. We're actually slowly, maybe, making our way out of their detection radius. And some of these, it looks like we're gonna have not too bad of a time if we can sink this F class. All right, very good. We may make it after all. <laughs> uh, kill the warship in the name of Eric says Lippincott. Welcome, Lippincott. Welcome back. At the distance, at this distance, torpedo should not. Hit a destroyer aware of your presence, Ozone says. That is absolutely correct. I completely agree. It's very foolish for me to be attempting to fire a torpedo. But um, my alternative options are just to dive deep and wait for my own death. That's how I kind of view it, at least. Because I don't really know how to reduce my steering engines and my electric engines below. Like, slow is not loud. It's just not loud. I can go dead slow. I get it. But... Anyways, 19%. We're still doing okay, I guess. So, sonar detectability, active sonars. Yeah, well, 96. Okay, I agree. Active sonar, of course, we're going to be detected. But but who has the active sonar? I guess we'll switch everyone back over to the flower, because I can't even see the other destroyer. And he's probably about 100%, right? Kind of. I lost my... like. Yeah, there we go. Good, 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 good. 97%. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, so we're going to just run very silently here up to the shore. 
as soon as this guy detects us, which he supposedly hasn't yet, which is weird. Nice. I think we're actually getting away here. We have actually done it. They said it couldn't be done, but he's done it. Alright, let's just range this. Whoops. Let's range this F class, is what I wanted to do, but we lost it. Okay, so Hydrophone, you get on this F class. Give me more than 100%. I mean, give me more than 93%. Um, I'm going to send this guy to bed. We don't really need him. It's weird, I know, but. Are you on observation? You're on attack periscope. Yeah, why is, if this guy's on the periscope, have we no... What? Okay, I don't know what was going on there, but I just wanted to send one of those guys to bed because we don't need both of them, basically. And uh, you know what? I'm going to start making my turn. And we're going to speed up time a little bit. Well, this is quite exciting, wouldn't you say? Abstradite says, have you tried your tab menu to assist positions? I have not really gotten to use to this yet. I probably, when I play a little bit more offline, just on my own time, I'll try to keep using it. But I haven't gotten used to it yet, no. Uh, Northfield says may. <laughs> As in, I believe he's saying I may make it. Uh, but Finnish Jaeger cleverly says June. It is may, so... In that regard, Northfield's right. Finish Jaeger says, maybe go to silent running blue lights. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yes, oh my gosh. We only have a limited amount of oxygen. Blue Lake, blue, <laughs> blue Jaeger. Finish Jaeger's done it again. Thankfully, at least we were already on red lights. It's helpful. And I want this guy to replace my electric engine guy again as well. Although... He's probably only sleeping because there's nothing else. There's no torpedoes to load. Yeah, let's give my other guy a break. Doing all right. I think we're actually doing okay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that this F class is the only one with the uh, detection capability. And how are we doing on battery? We actually do need the increased. Um, yeah, the two from this. And actually, what's more important is to get one of these guys onto the nav map, which gives me even more, um, yeah, gives me even more of a slowdown. I think it's a 20% reduction to energy you lose. And that's going to be the important thing here. All right, so let's move forward more. They're kind of leaving me behind, which is great. He's commanding torpedoes again. So as soon as he does this one, I think I'll swap him over to engines. Oh, what, what, what? Nearby contacts? We are close. What do you mean we are close? Oh, what? That, God, that's not... No, they don't need that. <laughs> We're right on... They're right on top of us, crying out loud. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> of all things. So far, so good. We've survived this. And it looks like the flower class is peeling off. Which is very nice. Actually, I want to start ranging somebody else since, again, yeah, this guy's completely... Who, who is this guy? Hi. Who is this one? I don't know who this is, but... Oh, that? No, we don't need him. Let's get this guy, because he's a new one we haven't gotten yet, I guess. I don't need to go too far north. Oh yeah, this is like 200 meters here. It's fantastic. Area abandoned. What? Not really sure what's going on there. Okay, so we need to pause real fast and do this swap. Okay, this way. Gun, run, run, Gunther, run. <laughs> ding ding. Shh. <laughs> Says ozone. The madman did it. All right, now let me just, we're being pinged by sonar again. Ah, we're being detected, okay. So get this guy to go to sleep. Get this guy to take his turn on the electrics. And who is pinging us on sonar is the big question. It's hard to tell, actually. So we're being detected, supposedly, but. 
I don't know how or by whom. Poor hydrophone operator needs to get out of here eventually. <laughs> Um, what? So, when they get very tired, do they, does their reduction, oh, this one's not good. Does their uh, detection profile decrease? Hmm. Let me read the chat as well. I love the fact you were silent running, but there's this bell every time you change heading. Yeah, <laughs> I get it now. I would sneak up behind the F-Class, even though it may be dangerous. Uh, I think it's suicide if I do that. Um, I'm surprised the destroyers are not scanning the area with active sonars. They are! They are! Yeah, discipline. So this is the new mechanic I've noticed in this um, since this new patch. One of the frustrating things, by the way, is I can't tell where exactly the land is. I would like to know where the land is, but I have to like zoom out. Okay, it's like here. So it goes down and it stays like this. But if I zoom in, I actually it gets it looks like this is the land, but not quite. We'll do this something like this. I think we're doing okay. So we're gonna have somebody break. Somebody is going to break. They're gonna make noise. We'll have to deal with that just as soon as possible. But for now, what I need to do is swap you out and put you back. And essentially this, well, probably this guy is going to be the person who I choose to deal with whatever crewman breaks, whatever happens. So. Okay, pause. We have our break. Let's go find this guy. And let's deal with him. I can knock him out or calm him down. I guess we'll calm him down. I did this automatically one time, and the last time he knocked him out. <laughs> let's try to calm him down instead. Is he making a lot of noise? Walter Cross is making noise. Yeah, but that noise is actually barely barely more than my electric engines. So we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. We're hanging in there. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get your concerns that we're all going to die. They are making their way down here with some warships, but I think we're okay. Wait, did we lose another one? No, Walter Cross. Wait, what happened? He's panicking again? Look, man, do your job. Okay, knock him out. I don't care. Just knock him out. <laughs> I'd rather have crewmen break when things are actually stressful, like I'm under attack, lots of pain, low oxygen level. Yeah, this is a little... But this is not that... I mean, this is pretty stressful being on, you know, in the bottom of Gibraltar. Not actually at the bottom, but at least in this area. So I think knocking him out just removes him from our available pool, which is obviously not supposed to be good. Supposed to be bad. So there's supposed to be a deterrent. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff. But the good news is, knowing that these propellers are here no, gives me the idea that there's no mines. There might be mines where exactly we are, though. So I don't think they allow you to really see them ahead of time. We're moving pretty darn slow. Okay, he has done it. So just go to sleep then. Do you knock him out? Do we kill him? I wonder, I wonder what you, how you actually deal with that. <laughs> is he dead? Who knows? I don't think so. Lippincott says the flower class are leaving that juicy F class so alone. Yeah, but um, going after the F class right now would be, um, let me just try to prepare an example in my head. It would be like saying, hey, I have my, I'm in my my Vindicator. Um, wait, what was <laughs> my Devastator? I mean, I'm in my um, Dauntless Devastator. Were they Dauntless? I think they were Dauntless. The old dive bomber in the beginning of World War One, or but, sorry, World War Two for the US. I ha and there's this lone zero over here. I'm going to go after them. <laughs> if that analogy makes any sense to you, you'll have an idea of what I think about us trying to take on a, a supposedly helpless F-class. So we're, we're probably going to have another break. I'm going to get somebody to try to deal with this guy not in the same way. Maybe a little bit... As soon as he breaks, I want to pause and get... Actually, we're doing okay. I wonder if like your ability to control who it is is based on the number of crew you have assigned. I also wonder if it's based on... Oh, you have an extra. Let's get that down. 
So too much stress, too much work from officers. I don't think that I can really deal. I'm just gonna have to deal with the brakes. But let's try to calm them down this time because we we are actually doing okay. We're making it. Still a little nervous about mines. I don't know what hit us last time. Although we hit two in a row, it must have been a coastal gun, right? But can't. I have no proof. Oh, somebody break? No, we just are suddenly okay. Oh, we're not on. We're not on alarm anymore. That's amazing. Ha! Huh. Who would have thought? Oh, so we this is a, we got a real chance of making this one. I know what you would all should tell me is you know don't count your chickens before they hatch. But Gamery says hello there. Hello, folk. Maybe can we get this guy to the? Nah, whatever. We're only going five knots. That is not very fast. I guess that's because we were wanting to go slow, that's right. But battery is not going to be an issue, so let's just try to get through this thing a little bit faster. It is midnight, so we might just try to go back up to the surface. Okay, go back to sleep, and man the electric engine. Good. We'll swap these guys as well. And we're in good shape once again. Could have this guy on hydrophones, that would not be a bad idea, right? I don't know why it keeps telling me I'm so close. So we'll probably end up just trying to torpedo our way out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh! What is a Corvette doing here? You're needed? No, what, I don't know what you're doing, but here, go to you. You should be here. No. Okay, let me try to use it this time. Go to... Yeah. Okay, good. He's doing it. That's good. So what I want is to slow down a little bit. Map. Um, we're not detectable quite yet, which is good. Seabed proximity is helping us. So this will help a bit. Oh my god. Well, holy crap. Oh my holy cow. Alright, let's start by... Is this one Corvette? Let's get the torpedo solution on this guy. What the heck is this? Oh, that's a destroyer. So most of them are Corvettes. So looks like we only have to get by one Corvette if we go this way. This is very risky. We're going back down to slow. We do have time. Um, ding ding, food time says finish. Earth is flat says Paul Walker. I don't understand why you're always talking about that, Paul. But maybe this is some inside joke that I just don't understand. Does the game handle moonlight visibility? I don't know. Um, hole plus four, tax boat, minus 60% for some position. I don't know. Maybe that's in some position, but I don't know. Alright, so we'll just steam along. Further south, if we can. Avoid that onslaught of Corvettes that are coming this way. Oh my god, are they ever coming this way? Holy cow, did they detect me or something? Where's the third patrol route? I think this is their patrol route. Um, let me pause though, just in case it's not. We should be starting to line up a shot on this guy. Whew. Okay, just like this. They change course, we know that we've been detected. But I think that they might just be on a patrol route, which is what I'm guessing. We're trying to get the hell out of here. What that that did. What the hell? I don't know what happened there. Alright, back. Oh my god, it's not pause. What? So every time I hit pause, the space bar, it apparently does something else. Unintended consequences. Well, let's see. Um ding ding, come here, son. 
Ozone says, I would stop all engines, stay super silent, and sink them all. It's a very ambitious approach. I'm going to go for another, a different one, which is get the hell out of here. We do have plenty of options available, but I'm going to try to rely on the get the hell out of here approach. Did you just leave, or why do you suddenly not detect anything? Also, were it not, you know, the worst time, I would swap my crew. What is going on with this guy? I'm getting some weird artifacts. We are down on oxygen, so that is going to require us to surface very soon. So, for that, actually, we could... It'll be very noisy, but we actually do have an option to run vents. Are we running our vents? Ventilation. They are on. Working ventilation is, ab is able to effectively increase air's suitability for breathing for a limited time. It's a little unfortunate that it's already on because I was hoping to <laughs> make use of that, but I think we're going to be okay here. If we're detected, we're kind of dead anyway, right? So, one thing I would say is get this guy to warm up the torpedo. Just in case. We might need it. Does this, in fact, impact our whatever? No, I don't know. Seabed proximity? Yeah, it's very shallow here, so it's going to make sonar a little bit less effective. We might actually get out of this. Yeah, I know, I know. Low air quality. I, you trust me, I know. I think we're going to make it, though. And then basically, as soon as we get over here, we're going to have to surface momentarily. So this guy is definitely not using his hydrophones. What are you doing? Wait, can I actually manually detect things? I can, but... oh, I don't actually want to do this, though, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, try to leave. Okay. I think that's good. So are you actually detecting something, then? So, look, it, just go to sleep, come back... No, I don't want you to listen to the radio. You are an idiot, man. I'm serious. Like, could you just be not so stupid? Can you go to the hydrophones? Okay, well, I'll just go to technician officer. I don't know what that means, but let's go. Really do need to turn. Is our rudder at? Yeah, pretty bad. Gonna need air soon. He's sneaking. Do you have a snorkel, maybe? We do not. We want to see the Sharn Horse sink. That's interesting. Can you snorkel? No, we cannot. But hello, Scarheart. I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back. We are detected, supposedly. But by whom? Ah, I think it's the second one. Of course, it's not the one we're aiming at. And this... F an idiot, man. I need... I really need him. Okay, anyway. Let's get... Okay, you are needed on the observation scope, and you need to target as soon as you get there. Yeah, that one. And I really, really need you on the listening room. Are you on it now? I don't understand. Why can't you just go on it? Okay, it's possible we won't be detected. What's the... Okay, so let's cut our engine speed a little bit. What's our... So maybe we were, maybe we were not detected. This guy's coming in close. Might be bringing his buddies with him. May or may not. Okay, is our rear torpedo ready to go? Because we might just have to... This might be the one... One who we made it so far as well, but this might be the one who gets it. Yep, it's ready. <laughs> All right, well we're just waiting then. So I could command him to track from this screen, but I'm not sure what that is gonna do or not. Anyway, sixty percent. Does he actually know where we are? Supposedly he does. Like he's shooting at it. What in good God's name are we doing on the surface? 
Yeah. Well, no shoot were detected. Actually, honestly, I mean, at night, I'm still a little surprised. But, okay. Look at this guy has to go and teach these dives. Teach. I cannot believe that we... Oh, we were just hit. Well, that's fantastic. Oh, no. We're on the bottom. Wait a second. Are we? Are we bugging out? It says 30... Are we... Are we... What is going on? Have we hit land? I have no idea what's going on. Uh, we might have just killed ourselves by... Can't... Camera controls are really... I'm, don't be mad, Tortuga. You did this to yourself, but I, I believe we're stuck on the bottom. I, I mean, I can't see... I actually cannot see anything, but... I think we are. So, what we need to do is... Full reverse. Not that this is ideal. This map needs some work. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm not, I'm not fully understanding this right now. Are you saying that I've been on land for the last nautical mile? Wow. Something's interesting. Uh, yeah. So, not sure how you can launch torpedoes at something when you're on land, but... So it looks to me like we're on land, but maybe not. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's the nose pointing up. Yeah, full reverse. Okay, so we'll continue with this attempt to engage this warship. Seems a little pointless for now, because we're likely dead, but we'll flood the tube no matter what. Yeah, what the hell is happening? Wait, 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 what the hell? You guys saw that, right? Um, 80 f whatever percent chance. Not high enough. Oh, we are taking damage. So let's go ahead and launch this torpedo. 86%. Okay, first, I guess, let me tend to the wounded. Seems like he's going to be okay. This guy's been kind of useless at spotting things. Okay, you're repairing something. That's good. Yeah, we're going to take somebody off. No. I want you to heal this guy. Okay, we only have one injured. Okay, you know what? I'm actually okay letting one injured. That's fine. This is very fishy, though. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Open to hatch. Well, yeah, I mean, you would think that we're just automatically going to open the hatch considering we're on the surface. That's not even something I have control over. Yeah, we're, I mean, the open the damn hatch. I guess I can open it manually, right? But first, let's just line up this shot. We might take another hit. I really want to line this up well. 87, okay, let's just lose. Ten seconds in back, do we get him? Got him! We're not going down, down without a fight. We have serious damage, apparently. What does that mean, though? I don't really understand this. So, depth under kill. Let's, I mean, we're detected anyway, right? What I want to do is kind of get to the bottom of this. I'm going to go ahead and run the echo sounder. Sounds crazy, but yeah. And we have just this, which is being repaired by somebody. Let's close this. Wait, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. Where? Just show me where you are. What are you doing? Yeah, you are repairing that. Very good. You're turning. You're gonna give me a, like kind of a useless ping, but I just want to know. It says that we're we only have one thing which is damaged, and yeah, we're actually okay. The only thing we need to do is like an emergency turnaround. Somehow get contact with our forward torpedoes. Uh, Northfield says deck gun. We're actually might be reduced to that. Like Dirty Dave says, get air while you're on the surface. Yeah, okay, so we can do that as well. Let me just get the person who's on the attack. And one second.
Herr Kaloy? Torpedokurs berechnen. Torpedo ausrichten. Herr Kaloy? Kapitän? Torpedokurs berechnen. Herr Kaloy. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Kapitän? Herr Kaloy? Zu Befehl. Ei, ei, Herr Kaloy. Kapitän? Ei, ei, Herr Kaloy. Herr Kaloy? Bestätigt. Kaloy? Kapitän? Bestätigt. Kapitän? Torpedo ausrichten. Stop Torpedo, Torpedokurs berechnen. Rohr 5 geladen. Oh my gosh, I was on mute the whole time. My goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> when uh, uh, Gary said it's quiet, I was like, yeah, we are running quiet. Anyway, sorry, I've been blabbing for the last probably five minutes or so to no effect. So we're not currently detected, which is really nice. I don't know what I even said or did not say on stream, so surface, full reverse, get air and dive. I'm not worried about oxygen quite yet, which sounds insane, I know, but... Really, I just want to survive this first, and if we can, plant another torpedo in one of these 
I guess this guy's closing in in a hurry. So, we don't have the ability to use torpedoes yet. He's definitely detected us. Now we do. We're preheating it. Well, this is an obvious target as soon as we can. Damn it, I keep clicking on this guy and he keeps ruining my interface. Wow, it's just ruined. Zoom all the way out. Okay, we have him. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I think we actually have a chance to launch here. Mind you, a 59% solution, not the best. Flood the tube. Okay, well, it's only at 66, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Let's try to get this guy saved. There we go. Let's do that. Should be just in time. Why do we have water in here? Why is there water in here? Let's run the pumps. Don't worry about warming up that. Instead, I want you to run the pumps. And then you can go back to doing that. It's very nice of him to run the pumps, I mean, uh, to be loading another torpedo, but right now I just don't want to sink. Not really worried about being detected. My issue is not noise right now, it's popping out of the water. <laughs> That's the main concern. Actually, I'm surprised. What the heck? My hole is 83% above the... Is it 83% up? None of my hole is up, is it? It's just a little conning tower. Huh. Get someone on radio operator. Alright, let me just continue to measure whether or not this ship is a good target. It's obviously very close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me this target. Give me this target. Okay, good. 71%. Um, 74. I'm just thinking we're just going to have to fire. Let's see if we get another impact. That guy is very close. My goodness. Oh, God, we took some damage. 10 seconds to impact. Got him! <laughs> No more rear torpedoes is the bad news. I mean, the other bad news is that we did take a hit. The good news is we're not going to sink. Let's get some people down here to repair. So they are automatically repairing. We are doing the hole in the port and the torpedo launcher. These are good things. Hole in the port. Electric compressor, not necessary. Oh, look, we can sell. We can say that this is sunk. Not very important. Do we have people who are injured? No, actually we're, we're actually doing okay. Um, this is insane. I don't know how we're doing okay. We go to map. We still have a good solution on this guy. We need to... This is like nuts. Line them up and knock them out. We don't have any more rear torpedoes though. So this is... I mean, you can only go so far in this. Wait, rebreather will be needed to work underwater. There's no water here. Oh, I think we have to go outside to do that. So, technically this is not dead yet. We actually have to wait for it to sink. Really? I would have expected it to have taken more damage than zero. <laughs> Okay, this is not good. Look, this is not going fast enough. We need reverse two. I think that the thing should just go down. This is the most bizarre, by the way. Definitely a very, very, very bizarre episode here. This is not supposed to be how it goes. I cannot believe this Corvette is like completely unimpacted by the damage. Okay, we're repeated. Repeated, uh, sorry, completed some repairs. He's automatically going to repair the next one. That's good. What's our speed right now? 
We're going zero. So I, we might just be stuck here forever. <laughs> oh, what we'll probably have to do is blow. Yeah, we are going to have to blow. Well, let's wait for this gunboat. If we're, if we're lucky at all, we're going to be able to blow after this guy turns, and his deck gun won't be available to attack us. Let's wait a little bit longer. So we'll do an emergency blow. And then... Oh god. What was that? <laughs> okay, where, where's the leak this time? Just in the torpedo launcher. That's fine. Actually, the... Oh, the other one. Darn it. So get somebody up there quickly. Okay, Loris is already taking care of it. Very good. Leo's trying to make up for his earlier transgressions. But basically, we need to probably do this very quickly. Get somebody on the deck gun. Uh, surface, basically blow. Uh, emergency blow. Get somebody on the... As soon as this guy passes, at least. Ouch. Taking some more damage. Okay, just a little bit more. Because this is obviously not working. Okay, let's do it. We're going. We're going to do it. It may work. O2 tanks seem empty. No, they aren't empty. Don't worry about that. Okay. So, I need an emergency blow. These guys are in the right positions. We're going to get them to move over. I need gun. lots of crew managing, though. Okay. Here we go. So, what I need is, I need forward, rudder full left, and I need you now. Up to the exterior hatch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Go up here. <gasps> go, 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 go. Where are you? Kohler! What are you doing? Get to the freaking gun! Oh my god, he's, he's, he's on the gun. But they are terrible at it. Where the hell are you? My god, you're freaking slow and your crewman's probably wasting all my good ammunition. I don't know how we have 21.0. Oh god. This is your fault! You are so slow! You are so slow! God, son of a bitch. They're firing at the wrong one. Of course they are. It's a hit. Another hit. Another hit. Come on, baby, hold together. Oh god. Can't afford to miss. Another hit. God damn it. Probably should switch to high explosive. Oh, 
Oh my god, that stupid lag. <laughs> Cost me there. Got him. Oof. By the way, we need to pause. What's my course? You go this way. Must go this way. Must go this way. <laughs> Woo! The water is a visual glitch because you are on a beach. Um, slave surfaced. I would totally surface. I did. No surface. Oh god! What is it paused? It. Did we just take a hit? Are we dead? How bad is it? Okay, so we have a lot of holes. A lot of bad things are happening. I don't have any of my crew options right now, but I want these guys to make repairs. They are making repairs. I don't need torpedo launchers. Instead, take the hole on the port side, hole in the hole. Take that instead. Um, you are what? Are you crazy? Pump. Repair. Hole on the port side. Very good. And let's go back. Zoomed in. Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay. We're still paused here, I guess. Wait. Oh, there's the ship I want. Good. Oh my god. Not in good shape here. So it looks like we can <laughs> kind of cheat. We can pause. An aim. <laughs> yeah, that's very effective. Quite effective. <laughs> A little buggy, I think. Probably shouldn't be able to do that. Oh, are we out of ammunition? Is my guy dead or something? Okay, let me um, leave position. Let's start trying to take care of the boat a little bit more. Because I think we're okay. This might even be sunk. We are taking fire from long distance. The thing is, I don't want to... I don't really want to dive until we... I know that there's a lot of things which are going bad right now. Okay, so let's turn on the pump. Is somebody repairing the pump? Somebody's repairing the pump. We do want that... Fixed, absolutely. It pumps on. And the bilge. I don't know how to manually operate this. I don't know what that does. We are in a very das boot situation, though. I'll tell you that much. Um, we want to kick on the diesel compressor for the moment. And then I need to figure out where else we have water. We should be good for now, though. I think that ship is sinking. Oh my gosh, we got other stuff going on, that's for sure. Destination is currently inaccessible. So we have four things that we're trying to do right now. We definitely have other, oh my god, other ships bearing down on us. So, the main thing is, we have fresh air. Our discipline is not good, but we can, we'll work on that. Leak is fixed, fantastic. Let me see what's going on. We might actually make this. This is like insane. What an adventure, no matter what. You definitely have to say it was an adventure. You, we do not need you on. <laughs> like, just fix something. Just fix this. Destination is not currently available. Requires repair stuff and we don't have it. I thought we had like 15. Hmm. Well, what else can we work on? Okay, we have light bulb. Uh huh. Okay, we can fix the light bulb. I don't really care about the light bulb. I actually don't care about torpedo launchers, even though we probably are going to need those. Yeah, there's actually. We're in good shape. We just need the pumps. We have diesel compressors, so we're gonna have air. Um, oh, I know what we need. Who's where's where's this guy? We need to make sure crewmen are being 
helped. Actually, we have no injured crewmen. We only have light bulb and torpedo launcher. Okay, this is this is fine. So I'm gonna save. I'm just gonna leave this guy. We want to go dex a wash first of all. We don't. I, uh, well, we might actually need to take these guys on the surface a little bit longer. So um, let's go to map. Who is going to be engaging us next? Just imagining that these guys are in bad shape. Yeah, that guy's in bad shape. About you. You're not in bad shape at all. What? Oh, buoyancy dropped too much. Probably because of the water. Okay, well that's fine. I'm okay with that. I accept this. The good news is, looks like we can actually go under the water. Can we? No. My god. We need to go this way. If we get stuck right now, we're in big trouble. Okay, leak is fixed. They're just doing their jobs. They're all doing their jobs. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of area. Not a lot of depth under the keel here. We should be getting further. Should be getting further. <laughs> Dive man says Dirty Dave. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Your crew can also bucket water. Okay, but I think that only puts it into the middle, and it gets fixed faster there. The problem that I need to address right now is we need to have positive buoyancy so that I can... Okay, we're already making repairs. Yeah, so that I can actually use the deck gun, which is our only hope. Unless I actually somehow can use torpedoes. I don't think we can. Are we still going flank speed? Because we should be going as fast as possible, basically. Oh, what the heck? Suddenly that happened? Wait, he did sink. Did he? Did we get away from that guy? Not that it's going to matter. There's going to be another warship in, uh, in our site very soon, but at least what's the depth on their keel? That's what I really would be curious about. I wonder, have we fixed enough that we can repair, that we could drop? If it points is up. I think we might actually try to dive down and avoid the rest of them. We just need, yeah, this one's down for sure. We've actually done it. This is a, something insane. Start plotting a torpedo solution. I think we have four torpedoes, do we not? No, we don't have four torpedoes. Well, they're fixing stuff, though. Can this guy go grab a rebreather? Yeah, go grab a rebreather. Okay, now, can you fix this? Yeah, we might actually want these torpedoes. Okay, so this is amazing. We are pulling this thing together. What an amazing, amazing fight so far. Sank three corvettes, trying to get our four torpedoes online. We're plotting a solution for the nearest flower corvette. Who is engaging us? There are two of them, unfortunately, but we're, everyone's busy with repairs. Looks like we're going to be in shape to actually dive. We will have enough to dive um, very soon. We could actually make repairs. We don't... Well, I guess the torpedo thing is more important at this point. Yeah. What is going on there? Why are we only going 8 knots? Our buoyancy is down again? There's a hole. Okay, he's repairing it. And we're stuck again, or what? Why is our speed going down so quickly? we're stuck. Good lord. Please. Please. First full? No. Okay, let's go forward now. I think we're unstuck. We've, we're rising. We're unstuck. Flank speed. I, I do need somebody. <laughs> there, There's so many repairs to be made. Okay, look. I need you to finish very quickly. You. Maybe we'll get some water out of here. We just want this to go to... It's this control room, right? Engine, galley, battery, control. What is this room considered? Is this considered the control room? It must be, right? So let's get you to, to get this water and put it into the control room.
Okay, do that. Oh god, there's they're closing in the range. We have a destroyer there too. That's really not good. All right, unpause. We're done for if we get hit at this point anyway. Really, all we need, uh, the main thing we need, I should say, is some torpedoes online. Now, you are not doing anything. You're going to that. Okay, that's actually fine. Uh, map. Which one are we trying to take right now? This destroyer? Nobody's aiming for him. Otherwise, this corvette. Who's aiming, who is aiming for what? Who are we targeting right now? Oh, these guys are both not on current, currently on station. I got it. Destroyers coming quickly. Hey, repair. Just give me a. Uh, I need to start, you know, doing something about this guy. What in God's name are these guys doing? It's like they're just slowly meandering down. Not a care in the world. Not like we're about to die or anything. Oh! That's painful. More holes. Alright. Now this is very important, as you can tell. <laughs> Do you need to... I think we might even want to get this guy on the... It doesn't matter. Okay, so I think we want to get this guy on... The hydrophones? We can't, actually. It doesn't matter. Okay, so... This is probably the end. I think this is the end. We can't, actually... We're not surfaced enough. We can fire the deck guns. The important question is whether Eric is still kicking. I think he is, but we have lost a few people, so maybe not. War detected? Well, no. No crap about that, obviously. <laughs> what is this guy doing? How hard is it? Like, in for the love of God. Oh, compartment's flooded. The pump's working. So we can't even use it. Can you just use this state? Oh my god. These are not good. We are going to launch a full spread at this flower corvette. Oh, he's really got the range on us. Well, let's see if those hit. We're in bad, bad shape. <laughs> Is he gonna ram us? Ten seconds impact, apparently. Ouch! Stop it! Man the deck guns! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Are we free? Ouch! Well, <laughs> things could be better. The good news is we're gonna make him beach himself. Take that! I mean, if we're beached, surely he is, right? Half of our people are dead. We're obviously gonna go down. Don't think any of those torpedoes hit. Let's try to aim and fire at him, though, while we have a chance. Okay. And... Los! Fire! <laughs> I don't think we can. He's, too, he's behind us now. But maybe he's gonna come to the front. Okay, prepare to fire. Oh, he's dead. Um, oh, they're both dead. Fire! Well, this is gonna be a difficult one. Hard to come back from this. I don't think that they suffer from, yeah, the same fate as me getting stranded. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that was exciting. We uh, we knew how it might go, and that's how it went. But that was a much better effort, I think, than our first one, just because. We perform pretty well. I mean, yeah, most U-boats, as I said, entering the Gibraltar. I think one of it, two out of every three um, going through Gibraltar Straits was sunk. Maybe it was one out of three. That's the number which pops in my mind. Could be wrong, but 
a good go at it, I would say. I, I'm not, I'm still not disappointed. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> so, um, I kind of like it also leaving it on the fact, I mean, okay, look, there's some bizarreness to this and that the map was not really correct. I probably could have been, basically, I would say every patrol, I learned a little bit more. I learned now that we have to be very careful about the depth, that just because it shows water doesn't mean there's actually water that you can, uh, you know, you know, you need enough distance under the keel to be submerged. And what was even worse is, <laughs> even when we were on the surface, there wasn't enough space for our silly little U-boat, even though the destroyers had no problems. They have a very small draft, though, like three meters, and I think the U-boat, even on the surface, has a draft of like seven meters, so that makes sense to me. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to wrap this stream up for now. Um, somebody asked about Wolfpack. I might be playing Wolfpack later. I might see if we can wrangle some uh, a crew together, but I might not. I, uh, just check. Um, if you want to check for that, check back in about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, I might start a nice late stream, but as I said, no promises. But I will probably be back on tomorrow for a little bit more Wolf, or sorry, U-Boat. Uh, maybe I'll take on an easier mission, do some simple kills, and uh, just to explore the game mechanics. And, uh, you know, we'll probably push back another Gibraltar straight run for a little while. We could do another port run. So I've done the the ports around England. I've been to all those except for Scapa Flow um, with with success. But I have not still gotten through this Gibraltar straight. And it's, it's gnawing at me. I can't wait. For now, though, uh, thanks for watching, and until the next stream or video or whenever you pop into my Discord to say hi, whenever we encounter each other next, thanks again for watching, and take care.